And it's election day. We are your local election headquarters on DC News Now in Virginia. Plenty at stake. Every state, House, and Senate race is up for grabs, and a handful of those races could determine the balance of power in the Commonwealth. Our Tosin Fakile has more. Which party will have the power in Virginia State House and what impact would it have on the 2024 elections and what would it mean for some of Glenn Youngkin's proposals on abortion and education? That's why a lot of eyes are on the Commonwealth today. As of last week, more than 618,000 Virginians have voted before today, 35% by mail and 65% in person. That is according to the Associated Press. All 40 state Senate seats and 100 state House seats are on the ballot and the ballot of power could come down to how it goes in some competitive Northern Virginia districts, including 31st District in Loudoun County and the 30th District in Prince William. The 40th District in Fairfax County is a new seat up for grabs because of the recent redistricting. We spoke with Governor Glenn Youngkin while he was in Haymarket meeting with voters. And I just uh, ask Virginians, send me a team in Richmond that will work with me, not against me. And we can, in fact, hold our house and flip our Senate today. Are you hoping your party have the General Assembly help some of the proposals you have? Well, absolutely. That's why we work so hard, because I really have felt that the liberal left in the Senate has stood in the way of so many things that are good for Virginia. I mean, at the end of the day, we've been working to reduce the burden of taxes on Virginia. Some things to remember for today before hitting the polls. Make sure you bring an acceptable form of ID. You can get help reading the ballot or writing from an election officer. And for voters who are 65 and older or have a disability, curbs Side voting is available. Some local races also will make a difference in this election day in Northern Virginia. The Commonwealth attorney races in Fairfax and Loudoun County and school board races in several counties. The polls are open till seven o'clock. For now in Haymarket, I'm Tosin Fakile for DC News Now. Back to you.